Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Jake Ludington here at VMworld 2011, and I'm here with Nick Vandersweep, who's going to tell us what cloud bursting is. Okay. Hey, Jake. Um, cloud bursting, uh, if, if we maybe take a step back, if, if you look at the problems that our customers are facing, they're facing a situation where they've got traditional IT and they want to put in a private cloud inside of their own data center so that it's self-service infrastructure. Um, and they're also looking at public cloud environments like Savas and others to be able to deploy applications into the public cloud. The problem is, if they have all three, they've made things three times more complex than before because they got to manage traditional, manage private, manage public. What we do with cloud system and bursting is one management environment, one version of an application. I can show you an application um, and, and be able to select it from a service catalog and say I want to deploy it into my private cloud or I can select it and say I want to deploy it into the public cloud, into Savas for instance, and it goes off and, and it deploys it from that one management interface. We can even deploy a hybrid configuration where um, in the demo behind us here, we've got the, uh, the web tier being deployed into Savas and the database tier being deployed into the private cloud. So it's a kind of a, a hybrid configuration. And, it, and it's, it's important to our customers because one management system, one version of the application, all patched, all updated, and it's much more, you know, um, simpler way to manage your IT infrastructure. Now, does that integrate also with the, the traditional servers in a rack model? Uh, yeah, so uh, cloud system is designed to be heterogeneous support, you know, HP networking and third party networking. Uh, HP storage, third party storage. H HP servers, third party servers. Um, you, we give you some advantages with, uh, with HP blades. You can, you can provision physical machines right into your cloud. Uh, but we can, we can use rack mount HP servers and deploy virtual machines into them, the virtual tier, or Dell machines or IBM or others as well. So it's very heterogeneous is our, is our mantra. So if you were to like, pick out something that was like the key reason that somebody would be excited about cloud bursting, what would it be? What would it be? With well, a key reason, it, oh, there's, there's probably two major use cases that I see today. It's when I run out of capacity locally, I, I automatically grab capacity from the service provider and I pay for it as I use it. And another is, is uh, compliance and locality. I've got a customer that needs to deploy an application, but they have to deploy it in Canada because they, the government regulation says that data must be in Canada, but they don't have a data center in Canada. So they define their application and they deploy it into a service provider in Canada. And and um, they're, they're in compliance, they don't have to build out a data center, they can do it instantly, just deploy those resources where they need them, when they need them. 